here today to honor the legacy of Jack McGovern, class of 1976, already a Bergen Catholic Hall of Famer, somebody who played many roles here at Bergen Catholic. Jack was a son, a brother, a classmate, a father. His most recent role was that of athletic director and Jack's greatest role, which is that of crusader legend. Bergen Catholic has always been a very special place to me and my entire family, obviously with all my uncles and cousins and uh, you know brothers that have come through here. And seven of us went here uh, in terms of my brothers and many of my nephews went here as well. And one was better athlete than the next. And my, my mom worked here for many, many years as well at Bergen, so we have a long history here with Bergen. The first family of Bergen Catholic, if you will. When I first met him, uh, he was a junior and uh, he walked into my office and uh, I just remember looking up and he was six foot three at about 240 and I'm thinking, wow. What a specimen. Immediately I was struck by this large, blonde-haired kid who I was going to have to go against. He was just a, a larger-than-life presence. His physical presence, when he walked in a room, you, you had to give a double take. He just had that presence about him. His integrity and his character kind of just ooze off him, right? He was just down-to-earth, a good person always honest, always saw the other guy's side. As we would say about him, he was a big mush. You know, Jack would cry driving past the church where weddings were going on, you know. Jack just carried himself in such a wonderful way, and it brought joy. Jack ended up being a great, not only player, but a real leader on our football team. He was a captain his senior year and led us to the state uh, finals that year. Uh, he was an outstanding high school player. Clearly his ability on the field warranted his induction into the Hall of Fame. After high school, uh, Jack went to Holy Cross. He was a four-year starter, never missed a game at Holy Cross. Uh, senior year was selected to the uh, All East football team. And then he came back to work in his father's company. But at the same time, he was able to help me coach at Bergen Catholic. He coached a sophomore football team with his good friend, Tony Rocchio. And uh, of course, they went undefeated. You know. First and foremost, his love of Bergen and his concern and care for the people who, who attended the school was always paramount. He was always here. You know, my freshman games on Saturday mornings, he was always walking the sidelines, you know, ringing the field in his, in his trench coat, you know, and his hat on in the cold weather. Uh, and you could always hear his booming voice uh, above all, you know, shouting encouragement and the occasional instruction. Jack was a mentor in so many ways. But when you think of a mentor in his role as athletic director, you think of a coach. You think maybe of a player. Uh, he mentored faculty members. He, men he mentored staff members. He mentored me. He always had his door open, and I can go you go and speak to him anytime. And I remember one particular time um, we had a long conversation about it after a really tough loss. He listened to me the whole time, and then I remember he just kind of sat back in his chair, and he just simply said, "Billy, you're my guy," uh, and I'll never forget that. He. Um, it was probably one of the most important lessons he could give me as a coach of young people. Um, and, I, and I keep this in the front of my mind all the time is that the, and it's not easy to do, but the four most powerful words that you can ever tell a young person is, I believe in you. Um, and essentially that's what he was telling me at that time. As we progressed through our lives with our children growing up, I think it was, um, it was unbelievable for me to have a resource like Jack who I could go to, talk to, bounce things off of and also just learn from uh, the right way to do things. Um, he's been an example for me in the classroom, out of the classroom, uh, in life. Um, he's, him and Ann have done a phenomenal job raising their four amazing children, Brendan, Aaron, Colin, and Griffin. And just to be able to have that ability to go there, talk to him, to give me a heads up or help me out or whatever it may be, he set the example in terms of what was the right way to do things? Well, my first year here, we lost at MetLife uh, in the state championship to St. Joe's. And you know, when you lose at Bergen Catholic, it, it's like, you know, you let the whole world down. It's never, it's never easy. And I remember 1.30 in the morning, I got a text from Jack about like how proud he was of me and how proud he was of what we've accomplished and had nothing to do with wins and losses. It had to do with the type of person that um, he expected me to be and what um, was important to him. It wasn't about whether you won or lost, it was about whether you kind of left it on the field or the court or wherever you were. For the rest of my life, I'll never forget that. I'll never forget the impact it made on my life and about how it helped me be successful here. I remember Jack telling me, anyone, anywhere, anytime. Anyone, anywhere, anytime. 
And I thought that that was a mantra that fit him all his life. You know, he was never afraid of a challenge and, and fought those challenges all his life, and you know, including his hardest one at the end. Jack got sick during my first year, and it was the fall of my first year that I noticed his absence from the sidelines. It's a shame that uh, the Lord took him so young, but um, he left his mark without question. There's a lot of different fingerprints, footprints, memories throughout this campus that reflect back on Jack, Jack's family, and the gifts that Jack has shared with Bergen Catholic High School. His footprint is all over our athletic department, right? And I think that the expectation of how you present yourself and how you run your program um, is really modeled after what he believed. I feel very grateful to be able to try to carry on the legacy um, that, he, that he began here as the athletic director. Um, you know, he's a fierce competitor, um, but still always did things the right way, and, and that's the way, um, you know, I certainly try to lead. I, I kind of feel in a lot of ways that he's still along for the ride with me. And it's a person that I think about a great deal when we're successful, and a great deal when things are hard, because uh, he's always been that guy that you could turn to for the help and support. And I miss that friendship very much. Be honoring my dad here at the Hall of Fame dinner is a, a really special event. Uh, to be able to have him honored among all the great, all the great inductees here today um, is something that's really special and I know something he would really appreciate. I know it means a lot to him and it certainly means a lot to our family. I just want to say thank you to the McGovern family and I want to remind them of all of the things that they have given and continue to give to Bergen Catholic High School. Bergen Catholic meant far more to us and gave far more to us than, than any and all the McGoverns could ever do or give back to Bergen Catholic. I think we stand taller. I think we walk with a uh, better stride in our step. And I think we carry ourselves in a higher moral ground because of Jack, his brothers, his family, and what they meant to Bergen Catholic. On behalf of the Hall of Fame, I'd like to thank the McGovern family for their passion, for their commitment, and for their engagement with us as we pay tribute and honor Jack.